Hi, and welcome back. So, what if the way you walk could make your body 16 years biologically younger? No supplements, no expensive treatments, just something you do already every single day. Research out of the University of Leicester in the UK has uncovered a powerful connection between walk and pace and the rate at which your cells actually age, all done using genetic data from over 400,000 people. Now, in this video, I'll break down the surprising science behind the specific walking style and then its effect on telomere length. If, like me, you want to stay younger for longer, this might be the easiest and the cheapest change you ever make. This is a review of a study I read out of the University of Leicester in the UK that found a clear link between walking pace and a genetic marker of biological aging. And there are links in the description below to the studies and articles I used to put this presentation together. The Leicester-based team of researchers confirmed a casual link between walking pace and leukocyte telomere length, LTL, an indicator of biological age. The researchers estimated a lifetime of brisk walking could lead to the equivalent of a 16 years younger biological age by midlife. Casual associations of self-reported walking pace with telomere length was published in Communications Biology. Whilst at the National Institute for Health Research, Leicester Biomedical Research Centre, the researchers from the University of Leicester studied genetic data from 405,981 middle-aged UK biobank participants. They found a faster walk in pace, independent of the amount of physical activity, was associated with longer telomeres. For those that don't know, telomeres are the caps at the end of each chromosome. They hold repetitive sequences of non-coding DNA that protect the chromosome from damage. They perform much the same function as an aglet. An aglet is a small piece of plastic or metal at the end of a shoelace that stops it from unraveling. Each time a cell divides, these telomeres become shorter until they become so short that the cell can no longer divide. This is known as replicative senescence. For this reason, scientists consider LTL a strong marker for biological age, independent from when an individual was born. Although the relationship between telomere length and disease is not fully understood, the buildup of these senescent cells is believed to contribute to a range of symptoms we associate with aging, such as frailty and age-related diseases. While the physical, mental, health and social benefits of walking are very well documented, this study is one of the first of its kind to compare genetic data with self-reported walking speeds, as well as actual measurements of movement intensity from activity tracking devices worn by the participants. Dr. Paddy Dempsey, a lecturer and research fellow at the University of Leicester and the lead author said, previous research on associations between walking pace, physical activity and telomere length have been limited by inconsistent findings and a lack of high quality data. This research uses genetic data to provide stronger evidence for a casual link between faster walking pace and longer telomere length. Data from wrist-worn wearable activity tracking devices used to measure habitual physical activity also supported a stronger role of habitual activity intensity, e.g. walking faster, in relation to telomere length. Dr. Dempsey went on to say, this suggests measures such as habitually slower walking speed are a simple way of identifying people at greater risk of chronic disease or unhealthy aging and that activity intensity may play an important role in optimizing interventions. For example, in addition to increasing overall walking, those who are able could aim to increase the number of steps completed in a given time, e.g. by walking faster to the bus stop. However, this requires further investigation. 
Researchers from the University of Leicester have previously shown using UK biobank data that as little as 10 minutes of brisk walking a day is associated with a longer life expectancy and that brisk walkers have up to 20 years greater life expectancy compared to that of slow walkers. This new study demonstrates a casual link between brisk walking and telomere length and more significantly, not the other way around. Tom Yates, senior author and professor of physical activity, sedentary behavior and health at the University of Leicester said, whilst we have previously shown that walking pace is a very strong predictor of health status, we have not been able to confirm that adopting a brisk walking pace actually causes better health. In this study, we used information contained in people's genetic profile to show that a faster walking pace is indeed likely to lead to a younger biological age when measured using telomeres. One of the key strengths of this study is its large well phenotyped cohort with superior LTL data. In the study, the authors emphasized the importance of walking pace and recommended that brisk walking pace is an important determining factor of LTL, which supports the overall health condition of an individual. That said, this study also has some limitations, one being that this was a one time estimation of LTL with no follow ups. And additionally, the current study does not perform any longitudinal analysis, which is essential in determining the link between physical activity and LTL attrition. Another limitation of the study is its cohort in that it only contained participants of the UK Biobank study who are considered on the whole to be healthier than the general population. Now, I have actually looked at a number of studies that have looked into longevity and also step count. These are just nine. There are a lot more on the channel if you dig around. This is the first I've come across that actually looks specifically into longevity and the speed at which you walk. One study looked into walking backwards, but as I say, the majority just looked into daily step count. Now, there's a myth that states 10,000 steps a day is optimal. If you take the mean average of all the studies that I've looked at, at the moment, the sweet spot for a meaningful extension of life is somewhere between 4,000 and 6,000 steps a day. Hence my reason for my daily step count being 5,000 steps a day. That said, nearly all of these studies do have a caveat that says, although they found that 5,000 steps a day uh, resulted in X reduction in all cause mortality, the more steps you do, the better. So. 6,000 is better than 5,000 and 10,000 would be better than eight. But 10,000 isn't where it stops. If you can do 12 or 15 or 20 a day, it's gonna benefit you even more. So when it comes to walking, when I walk alone, I like to walk quite quickly. And when it comes to walking with my children, I set the pace and again, I try to walk quite quickly. However, when I'm with my wife, I have to slow down to Filipino speed, either that or I pay for it later. Now, I'm sure she will watch this video and immediately change her mind on what the correct speed to walk at is, which is my speed. Um, well, we can all live in hope. So do you walk fast or do you walk slow? And now, having seen the results of this study, would you consider speeding up a little bit if it could give you an extra 10 to 16 years?